can't see it. There we go. Let's see what happens if I create a face right here, if it'll let me. No, nope, I don't think so. Let's smooth that. There we go. And then let's create a face right here. I reserve the right to change this topology at any time. Okay. So we got the basics of our nose, some basic eyes. Um, not going to worry too much about the ear just yet. Let's add another division right here. No, it's not because something's wrong right there. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's weld those vertices. Actually, let's undo that. <coughs> I'm just going to select all and remove doubles. That basically removes any two vertexes or more that are within this threshold. And it removed it. You can see it changes it to a deselected edge. So now we can divide that. Let's go to the front. Just uh, we can take that in a little bit. We don't have to. Take that one in. But we don't have to. Get a little bit carried away on some of this. And that eye is going to be very large, so let's just scale it down a little bit. Let's scale it on Z just a little bit. There we go. It's a little bit better. Okay, so let's go to edges edges, excuse me. Let's grab all these edges. Whoops. And well before that, let's grab this right here inside the nose and go to the side. I want to start taking that kind of into the nose a little bit. There we go. <coughs> Now let's grab all that. Oh, we don't need that. Just Alt, right mouse button, select that edge. I'm going to smooth it just one time. E to extrude. Let's go up on Z. Scale that down a little bit. And let's smooth that a bajillion times. It's a real, real number. Let's grab it, pull it back and up. Go to the front. Let's pull it in a little bit, not too far. You want these vertices to grab each other on the mirror. And that'll be okay for now. But I want to go to the side and start getting a little bit of this. Uh, there's a little lump actually that kind of comes out. There's a little dimple in the lip. Right there. There we go. That should kind of start to take care of it. We don't really need to uh, really do too much with it yet. Depends how uh, intense we want to make it. But anyway, I'm just going to Alt, right click, and select all those. And then E to extrude it. S to scale. G, grab and move. Let's pull it in a little bit. And let's go to the right. Let's actually let's take them in just a little and down. There we go. We'll start helping uh, to form our mouth whenever we get around to it. Let's grow that selection with Control Plus. S to scale. Front. 
because we want the corner of the mouth to pretty much come out to the center of the eye. Scale it up a little bit more. Well, we don't want these. So just use your shift and right mouse button to deselect those. And let's go ahead and get all these. We'll have to do some tweaking. Whoops. And the center ones don't really matter at all. <coughs> so let's scale that up with S. G, grab move. About there. And I'm going to use proportional fall off. The hotkey is zero. G, grab and move. Shrink that down a little bit. Okay, let's turn that off. That's not really helping us too much. Take that down here. There we go. A little bit cleaner. Anyway, um, we're going to call that the end of this one. The uh, thing about Blender is you need to save before you exit out of it. Um, what it'll do is it, well, it's not what it will do, it's what it won't do. It's not going to, you know, say, do you wish to save? Yes or no. It's not going to do any of that. It's going to close, and you're going to lose anything you've done. So, <coughs> F2 is the hotkey for save. Um, I've already uh, started this, and we'll just go with Bloody Molly. And that's the girl's name. So we'll save over Bloody Molly 1. And uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. Hopefully you're getting something out of this. Uh, it's kind of early in the morning for me right now um, here in the office. So anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.